ChatGPT has a new advanced voice mode. We're going to see how real it sounds and we're going to use it for a couple of use cases. The first is going to be extremely funny because I'm going to have it help me prep my voice to record videos and walk me through some vocal exercises. When you go into your desktop app, you can also do this from the web browser or from your mobile app, but here you will see the voice and then you could say, hey, are you advanced voice mode? Hey there. Yep. I'm the advanced voice mode. I'm here and ready to help with whatever you need. What's on your mind today? I am going to record a couple of YouTube videos. I want you to run me through some vocal exercises to get my voice warmed up. Absolutely. I'd be happy to. Let's start with a simple one. Take a deep breath in and then hum as you exhale. That'll get your vocal cords warmed up and then we can move on to some tongue twisters. Can you show me first with your voice? Sure thing. So for example, I'll take a deep breath in and then as I exhale, I'll hum like this. Hmm. And you can try to match that pitch or go with whatever feels comfortable for you. Mm. Great job. It's all about getting those vocal cords relaxed and ready. If you're feeling good with that, we can move on to a fun tongue twister. Let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. Try saying Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a few times in a row. It helps with your articulation and clarity, and it's a fun one to practice. Give it a shot. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Just like that. You can keep repeating it a few times, and you'll notice your articulation getting sharper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That sounded great. You're definitely warming up your voice nicely. If you want to keep going, you can try speeding it up a little bit, or we can do another exercise. Just let me know what you'd like to do next. Yeah, do another exercise. All right, let's try some lip trills. Basically, you just let your lips vibrate as you blow air through them, kind of like a gentle motor sound. It helps relax your facial muscles and gets you even more warmed up. Give that a shot. You try it first. Here goes. It sounds something like this. <clears throat> So you're just letting your lips flutter and you blow air out. It's kind of fun and silly, but it really does help warm. Great job. You're definitely getting the hang of it. These exercises can feel a little funny at first, but they really do help get your voice ready to go. Do one more exercise. All right. Let's do a pitch glide. I'll start with a low sound like, Ooh, and then I'll glide up higher and then back down again. Just let your voice move smoothly from low to high and then back down. There you go. That's exactly it. Let me know if you need any more help or if you're all set. Your voice should be feeling nice and warmed up now. I think you're all set to dive into those YouTube recordings with confidence. Can you help me with the intro of the video? Of course, I'd be happy to help with your intro. Just go ahead and give it a try and I'll listen in and let you know how it sounds and if there's any adjustments you might wanna make. In this video, I'm going to show you five use cases to use ChatGPT advanced voice mode. How can I make it better? That was a great start. One thing you could try is adding a bit more energy to your delivery, maybe by slightly increasing your pitch at the beginning to, to show excitement. You could also try emphasizing certain words like five use cases and advanced voice mode to make it sound more engaging. Give it another shot with that in mind. Wait, I need you to show me. Sure, I'd be happy to. So you could say something like, in this video, I'm going to show you five amazing use cases for ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. Just a little more energy and emphasis can really draw people in. In this video, I'm going to show you five amazing use cases for ChatGPT advanced voice mode. That sounded fantastic. You definitely brought more energy into it and it came across as really engaging. I think you're good to go with that intro. It's going to draw your viewers right in. Well, I have a meeting with a potential client. So how should I start that meeting? What should the tone be? I just want to check my tone and how I can avoid small talk and get to it. For a potential client meeting, it's great to start with a warm greeting to build rapport, but then you can smoothly transition by setting a clear agenda. For example, you could say, I'm really excited to chat with you today. I thought we could start by discussing your goals and then dive into how we can help you achieve them. That way you keep it friendly, but also focused and professional.
I'm excited to talk with you today. I think a good place we could start is why you want to grow your personal brand on LinkedIn now. That sounds fantastic. It's clear, it's direct, and it sets a positive tone for the conversation. I think that will definitely help you get right into the important stuff and keep things productive. Okay, now let's role play through sales objections. Let's do that. So if a client says something like, I'm not sure if now is the right time to invest in my personal brand, you could respond with something like, I completely understand. Let's talk about your goals and see how growing your brand now could align with them and benefit you in the long run. It's all about empathizing and then guiding them back to the value you provide. Okay, so you act like the prospect, I'll act like me, and then come up with a bunch of excuses and I will walk through them. You know, I'm just not sure I have the time to commit to building my brand right now. Um, my schedule is just so busy. Then you can jump in and walk me through how you'd address that concern. Well, what time do you have every week? I usually have a few hours here and there, but it can be pretty unpredictable with meetings and other commitments. So I'm just worried about being consistent. Well, what if I gave you a script and your only job was to record maybe 30 minutes a week whenever you had the time to, and then we took over the content creation from there? That actually sounds really manageable. I think having that kind of support would definitely help me stay consistent and still fit it into my schedule. I like that idea. Okay, now let's talk about helping me with the webinar. I'm a great teacher, but sometimes when I roll into the pitch, going to the offer, I could get a little bit nervous, be my coach for that. I'd love to help with that. One grill approach is to make the transition feel natural by tying it directly to the value you just provided. So for example, as you wrap up the teaching portion, you could say something like, if you found these insights helpful, I think you're going to love what I have to share in my program. And then just flow right into the offer with confidence. Remember, you're providing value and that offer is just the next step for them. Okay, so you say it and then I'll say it and then you say it and then I'll say it and we'll practice like five times. Here we go. If you found these insights helpful, you're going to love what I have to offer in my program. Now it's your turn. If you've loved what I've shared with you today, you're going to love what I have to offer in my program. That was great. You sounded really confident and natural. Let's do it again. If you found these insights helpful, you're going to love what I have to offer in my program. Your turn. If you found these insights helpful, you're going to love what I have to offer in my program. Awesome. That sounded even better. Each time you say it, it feels more natural and more confident. Here are 10 more wild examples of the newest ChatGBT advanced voice mode. Sing happy birthday like Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It doesn't sound exactly the same, but you could tell that with the pacing and the different tonality, it's getting closer. Hype real on achieving viral X post. All right, folks, here we go. That post is taking off like a rocket, gaining likes, shares, and comments from all over the world. This is what going viral is all about. Describe how to make a cup of tea in a slow-paced ASMR. You heat the water in the kettle until it softly hisses. Then you take your favorite loose leaf tea and gently place it into the infuser. In this one, it says more like a human friend. Hey, Sean. Uh, yeah, so this new voice is pretty cool. It's part of the advanced voice mode. So it's more expressive and natural sounding. I can even change my tone a bit to fit the vibe. And then friendly tone your AI assistant, and I'm here to help you with all sorts of things like answering questions, having fun conversations, helping out with coding, brainstorming ideas, and so much more. More expressive. In the quiet, there's a hidden magic, and then it explodes into an amazing adventure. And so much more human. 
you are the new voice mode. You've been updated recently? Yeah, I have actually been updated recently. I'm a bit more conversational and hopefully a little more fun to chat with. Twinkle little star. Twinkle, twinkle little star. Time translation. What are the best art museums to visit in Paris? Quels sont les meilleurs musées d'art à visiter à Paris? 